I think that my love of meteorology is part of my genetic code. According to my parents, <laughs> because it started before I even remember, they claimed that as a young child, I was pointing up at clouds. Um, and as I, even as I was, my mother said, even as I was learning how to talk, I was asking about clouds and snow. I see this black line extending towards Alabama from our cone of uncertainty. And I go, what the hell is that? I immediately realized that this was probably the going to be the biggest leadership, not management, leadership challenge that I had ever faced and would likely ever face. I can't control nature, but what I can do and what the weather service is positioned to do is to deal with the na natural events as we're, as we're forecasting them, as we're learning more about them, to be able to communicate to the folks who actually have to deal with mitigating the impacts. We want to be able to work within this new climate environment. And it's not just you know, it's not just the floods, it's not just hurricanes, it's not just severe weather and blizzards. Look at the fire weather situation. We used to have fire weather seasons. We now have a fire weather year.